All right, hello everyone. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick little video tutorial on how to manually edit uh, both the, the BIOS for both the ROG Ally and the Steam Deck. Uh, so what this is gonna be for is the 32 gigabyte mode. Uh, so should uh, uh, for the Ally, it's the only current method. And for the Steam Deck, uh, it's one of the methods. Uh, there's another one. Uh, that's just using pre-made files, flashing them with a command. I'll have that command and the link to those files down below. But um, this is going to be just for if it's like a version that it hasn't been made for yet, or, you know, it's just not working, and obviously for the ally, it is the only method. So, what you're going to need is a CH341A. Uh, get this one. Uh, it's the green one. Uh, what you have on it is a voltage adjustment switch. So what this does is it lets you set the voltage that it outputs. Uh, if it would uh, focus. So you can do 5 volt, 3.3, 2.5, or 1.8. You're going to set this to 1.8 volts. Uh, as that's what both of these devices use. is a 1.8 volt BIOS chip. Uh, you can get the black one too. Um, and then you can also 3.3 volt mod this one, uh, and, uh, with, with a jumper, or you can get the 1.8 volt adapter. Don't buy this one. Uh, they fail a lot. Um, they're, they're, it's not worth your money buying one of these ones. Just get one of these. And then next, for the Ally, you're going to need one of these Pogo adapters. Uh, this one is in the 8.6 millimeter, if I remember correctly. I'll have a link to it down below uh, with the exact one to buy. Uh, you can get one for the um, deck, too. Uh, I haven't had luck with this one. Um, I just use this standard clip. And what you do is you take, like, a Dremel or a um, X-Acto blade, and you just grind down that a little bit it might not even be necessary um for yours just because there's this little inductor and sometimes it moves over sometimes it moves over um so your clip might just fit just fine so anyways now that you have the necessary tools uh, let me just grab that and programmer there it is so now that you have both of your things uh, if you look at it you're gonna see 25x and a little dot for pin one um, so what you're gonna do is take your cable here pin one and then you're gonna slip it in there making sure pin one matches up and you're going to latch it closed. So once that is latched closed, uh, what I recommend is just following through with a multimeter to make sure that pin 1 is actually pin 1. Um, and then you can just clip it onto your BIOS chip like so and connect it to your PC here with, with the cable. And you're going to need to download the drivers. I'll have those linked below for the CH programmer. And then you're going to need Neo Programmer. Focus. Neo Programmer and HXD. I'll also have these linked down below. So when you have it connected, your chip model will show up when once you hit detect. Right now it's not going to detect anything might be a little finicky to do one-handed but let's see if I can get it to work so anyways I would just want to read the bias from my deck here uh, that's not connected right at all
can see it's a little finicky to do. Um, but once you get it, so if you hit detect, no response. That's uh, kind of normal. Sometimes you might have to fiddle with this for a couple minutes. No response yet. Um, but yeah, uh, it'll detect and then you hit the button here up in the top for read IC. It'll dump it. Uh, you're going to use the save button to save it as a file. And then once, once you have your file, you're going to go into HXD and open it up. And then you're going to take the appropriate APCB and open it up. And let me, uh, that's not, there we go. Anyways, so in the APCB, you're going to hit Control A and Control C to just copy that. Then you're going to go over to your main BIOS dump, and you're going to hit Control F. You're going to search A, P, C, B, and you're going to hit search all. And what you're going to do is down here at the bottom, you're going to find the one that matches what this says. So it's A, P, C, B, E, zero. So this one is not it, you want this one, E0AK, yep, that's the right one. And what you're going to do is copy all of this, you're going to highlight it, it's going to be kind of long, and you'll know you're at the end once it looks like that. Once you start seeing all the why, 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 whys, um, and then you just hit Control V, and if you selected it wrong, it'll tell you it's going to change the size. Um, you don't want to do that, so just double, you know, hit Cancel, double check it, and c select the right one. And so there's going to be two of these. So you go to the other one, and then it is just the same copy-paste process. And you scroll down, and then there it is, and you hit Control-V. There you go. Uh, so what it looks like when it when you change it is that. Um, you know, make sure you do not hit the do not ask this question again. This is actually a feature there to help you. Uh, just hit cancel, and it'll not do your change. And so then once you have this, you're going to save the file and just make it something like my BIOS 32 gigs. And then once you have the edited one, you're going to go back into NeoProgrammer, drag the file, whatever. I don't care, this is for demonstration. Um, no, let's just hit X. Uh, so you're going to take the file and you're going to drag it over here. And then, as long as you're still connected, you know, make sure you hit detect. Uh, it's obviously not detecting. I don't have it clipped and I don't want to waste your time with um, doing that. So, once it shows up, then you're going to go over here and make sure that all of these are checked. Uh, what this is going to do is it's going to just write and then verify and just check and make sure it wrote properly so you can do that uh it's going to take somewhere about eight minutes ish usually uh i've seen it go a little bit faster sometimes go up to like the 11 minute mark uh the dump usually takes about four to five minutes to do uh and so that one it's the same process for both the deck and the ally software wise for the hardware, uh, you have this little pogo pin guy. There we go. So what you do with this one is you measure out uh, pin one, and then you're going to just.
just line it up with the exposed pads and hold it. I recommend using something like a helping hands or like a clip or something to hold it and then it's good. Uh, if you have the capability, you can also desolder either of these BIOS chips and then put them on just an adapter like so and then put that in there. Um, you know, if you don't have that capability, obviously don't do it, um, especially on the outline. If we look here, there's going to be a lot of, you know, small, there's like O201s around here and other small components. Uh, if you lose those, um, then, then it, you know, it has to get replaced and fixed. and uh, it's, it's not a place you want to make a mess. Uh, it's going to be a similar story for the deck, too. You know, there's a lot of smaller components around it, um, but both of them are fairly easy to desolder. Uh, the Ally does have a ground plane under the BIOS chip, so it does take a little bit more heat and time. The deck does not have that under the center. So for the deck, you can just lift it up and then solder it. Um... So anyways, the deck does have a software method for it at the moment, too, um, I'll, uh, that you can just run from the hardware uh, with the download. I'll leave the co command and the download to everything there. I'll leave uh, store links to where you can buy the, the tools. Um, for, like, the adapter for the CH341A, um, the, the, the clips are like, I think, five to ten bucks, depending which one you get. And then the, the actual programmer is like ten bucks, depending where you buy it. Again, uh, don't get this one. This one's flawed. It only outputs five volts. Um, a lot of people are going to tell you, you can do it, you can use it, it's going to work. Uh, you know, these chips can take five volts and it's going to work. Don't do it. Just get the one that, that does the appropriate voltages. Uh, you can also get the adapters for this one that make it 1.8 volts. But it's an additional cost, and I've seen those ones be bad as well. Um, so just, just get this one. So there's a quick look at it. Um, again, I'll leave a link to this. So yeah, it was a quick, quick tutorial on how to do the manual BIOS editing. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.